Hi everyone, so <clears throat> I'm a little sick, but yeah, if you notice the mess that is my room and the mess that is my hair, I just woke up and I'm preparing to go to work. So basically, <clears throat> the look that I'm trying to go for today is very Korean-esque. I think I've just been watching way too much Korean dramas, but I've been quite inspired by the look, a very simple I wouldn't say dewy skin, but a very healthy, radiant skin in, in not a sort of um, highlighting manner. It's just very clean skin and I think that's just that just gives off a very refreshing and spring vibe. Yep, so I'm going for very clean skin, um, a pop of colour in the cheeks, maybe a liner and some lashes. I just do a light brow and probably a tinted lip or just a tinted lip balm. So depending, then we'll just work out what we'll do. So yeah, let's just get started. For starters, I'm going to be using the Etude House Precious Mineral BB Cream and I'm going to mix that with a darker foundation just because this is really light for me. So I'm just going to use a little bit and just pump in the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I just put in about half a pump. So in total, it's about one pump. using a Real Techniques damp sponge. I find that using a sponge really gives you a very light layer and also it retains the moisture in your skin without, you know, stripping away anything. Did I look Korean yet? Kidding! So, yep, moving on to a concealer. <clears throat> I'm going to use this Etude House Big Cover Cushion Concealer in Pink Peach, or just Peach. Comes with like a cushion applicator. This kind of reminds me of the Maybelline Age Rewind Foundation, I mean concealer. So I'm going to be doing my brows. I'm using the Bare Minerals Frame and Define Brow Styler. And before... I complete my brows, I'm just going to set them with a brow gel from Innisfree. I'm going to prime my eyes with the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. It keeps eyeshadows from creasing for hooded lids and also for mono lids. Because your eyelid tends to produce quite a large amount of oil and that will cause makeup to wear away. I'm going to be using this Moonshot Jelly Pot in Hawaii Sand. It's like a, I wouldn't say champagne, but it's like a very beige shimmer. It gives a very brightening effect to the eye with a flat brush. Using a eye coal, I'm just going to line the outer half of my upper lash line just to give it a little bit of thickness to the lashes. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara.
So just to finish off my eyes and everything, I'm just going to put a blush of colour to the cheeks because that's what she had in the picture. I'm just going to leave all the information in the description box below. But yeah, it's basically Descendants of the Sun, the lead female that I'm going after, the look that I'm going after. I'm just going to take this Hourglass palette, mix these two colours and apply it on the tops of my cheeks. And for the lips, I'm going to use the Fleur de Force Lip Gloss in Little Star. So that's the final look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just a very refreshing sort of take on a Korean-esque look and I think it's perfect for spring as well. Very easy, very simple, no contours, no harsh lines and anything like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And with that, I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye!